For the latest news updates on all things Transformers, go to hybridnetworkyt.com. Hey guys, it's going? Josh here, and previously last week we made a video talking about Megatron's new body and how he may get that body. And you guys left a lot of really interesting comments, and really it sounds like you guys really like that topic and you want more about Megatron related stuff as we, you know, build up to the release, which is like a week and a half away actually, for Transformers the Last Night. So I thought this video would be able to explore the possibility of Megatron having his powers, at, like of Galvatron basically. So. If you watch Age of Extinction, I know a lot of people stopped watching Transformers movies early on, so they're probably like not really paying too close attention to what's been going on. If you did watch Age of Extinction, you would know that Megatron's kind of consciousness, to a certain degree, was put into the body of Galvatron. Now, the body of Galvatron is really interesting because it was an artificially created body. It wasn't a regular Cybertronian. The really interesting thing about them is one, the way they transform is really interesting. It's not like your regular Transformers. Instead, it's kind of like the Transformium and all that stuff. It like basically just repurposes itself. It goes from either being like a vehicle to a robot. It's really interesting actually. It's not your traditional kind of transformation whatsoever. But with that also means they don't have a spark. And if they don't have a spark, it's really hard to kill them, if at all. There's actually a moment in the movie where Optimus Prime's fighting Galvatron and he's trying to kill Galvatron but he can't because Galvatron doesn't have a spark. So it's really interesting actually, like these powers basically make Megatron or Galvatron, whoever, whatever identity they want to go with, but it basically makes them invincible to a very you know, high degree because one, if you don't have a spark, you can't really be killed. Two, the properties of Transformium is pretty, not malleable, but pretty flexible in how they've been shown to us so far in the movies to the point where literally you can try blowing them up, but they can kind of just use the Transformium to like, do that transformium transformation thing and go away like it's really hard you can't really kill them basically they're basically invincible they can basically turn into whatever they want because of the transformium like it's just there's so much they can do with it it's ridiculous to a certain degree they're kind of op in that sense but i wanted to ask you guys do you guys think they're going to keep that from megatron will he have those transformium advantages will he have those powers that he had as galvatron or do you think when he gets his new body they're just going to get rid of that so comment below your thoughts and i'll see you guys later